Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. Jeep has issued a voluntary recall for a total of 57, 885 Wrangler units manufactured between October 2019 and May 2022, as an unused frame stud may potentially cause a fuel leak in the event of a crash. The recalled vehicles, which include the 2020-2023 Jeep Wrangler models, were built with an unnecessary and unused frame stud. The supplier and vehicle production records have been used to determine the period when frames with the frame stud were introduced into vehicle production, which started on October 16, 2019, and ended on May 14, 2022. The frames without the frame stud, or built before or after the suspect period, are not included in this recall. The document also stated that the fuel leak risk in the presence of an ignition source may result in a fire, which can increase the risk of injury to occupants and persons outside the vehicle. The component manufacturer of the frame stud is Metalsa S.A.P. IDECV, located in Apodaca, Mexico. According to NHTSA recall number 23V191, the defect affects approximately 58% of the potentially involved vehicles. The company has identified the problem with the help of supplier and vehicle production records and has confirmed that no accidents, injuries, warranty claims, or field reports have been linked to this issue. Of note, make sure to contact your dealer if you suspect that your Wrangler is part of the said recall. The specific Vince warrant mentioned in the recall documents. Jeep has taken timely action by launching an investigation into the issue, reviewing supplier data and vehicle measurement data, and meeting with engineering teams to understand the frame design and change history. Based on the findings, the company has initiated a voluntary safety recall to rectify the problem. As a remedy, Jeep will inspect all affected vehicles and, if necessary, remove the frame stud and apply paint. The company will also reimburse the owners for the cost of repairing a problem that subsequently becomes the subject of field action. However, customers must provide the original receipt and other relevant proof of payment for expense confirmation. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel for more auto updates.